while I'm doing that, I can just check what's happening with the shot. That looks good. Now's the time to see if they actually work. They work beautifully. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So the blanket's now in two pieces. I'm beginning to get a sense of what to do. There is the most incredible smell coming out of this sand. Some sort of earthy, earthy smell. Really lovely, actually. And when I 
thought about doing this. I thought about all the times I played in the sand as a child and not known about this history. And my father's hands having to dig just to keep warm and stay alive. And the way that he wasn't able to talk about it and he might even be sitting on the beach with us having some sort of flashback. Got quite a long but shallow hollow for my blanket. I'm going to keep digging a little bit more but I want to make it really smooth and beautiful. I don't feel like I'm burying something, even though physically I am. I feel like I'm enacting something, but in a peaceful way. This is a ritual of some sort. Which I feel compelled to do. try and do is cover it all and just leave the seam on one side exposed. And it's the lovely blanket stitch seam that I'm leaving. I do love those blanket stitches. I think they're quite beautiful. There's a real sense of this I'm trying to get it evenish. I won't get it completely even. I'd like it to be as even as I can make it. What I really wish is that Dad, Dad could have known about this. I mean, wouldn't it be incredible if he just could have known that I would try to honour his memory? You know, you have to hope that somewhere, somewhere or other, he does.